Hi everyone, it's Tina from Tina's Country Door. I'm coming to you today to do a pour on a canvas. This is an 11 by 14 canvas and the colors I'm using are white, classic gold, orange, and pansy purple. All of these except for the gold are Anita's acrylic from Hobby Lobby. The gold is, I want to say, deco art. I'm not absolutely positive. I've had these for a while mixed up, so I've had this maybe six months mixed up in this container and it's still good. And these I've had mixed up for about two weeks. So as long as you keep your paint in the tight containers, they will, they will last. And how I did the purple and the orange, I took Ziploc bags and I just put them over the top. You can put a rubber band on there and, and that, uh, that work too. So I'm going, what, I mixed my paint, two parts flow to one part uh, paint, and then I added drops of water just a little bit at a time until I got the consistency that uh, I wanted. My consistency, if you can see that, that's what I wanted. So add a little bit at a time because if you add too much, you can't take it back. So I've got my torch, I've got my tweezers because especially where the paint has set for a while, it's probably going to have clumps in it. Uh, I've also, I'm going to use my split cup that I got from Mixed Media Girl. And I'm going to use this to strain my paint while I pour it in here because like I said, it's going to have clumps where it's set for a while. So I'm going to do that and I will come back because I don't think you guys want to watch me pour paint. I got my paint poured. Now I didn't have as much of the gold as I thought I did. So I had some bronze mixed up too that I've had for months that I needed to use. So I put the bronze on top of the gold in this split right here. It's not a big deal. And what I'm going to do on my canvas, I prepped it. I put masking tape around that to try to protect it because I can get messy when I pour. <laughs> and then I put these tacks in that. So, cause right now I'm going to use my lazy Susan cause I like spinning it around while I'm pouring. But after I pour it, I will take it off and remove that. Okay. So, that's why I've got the tacks on the bottom. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yes. I'm going to, to make sure I get the edges, I'm going to take my white paint and I'm going to run it along these edges to make sure paint, I get paint over that. I need to make this back a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put some more paint around the outside because that helps pull the other paint when you're tilting. Yeah, I'm just using my finger because uh, this will end up going off the canvas anyways when I start tilting, so that it doesn't hurt anything. Not go off. All right. Now I'm just going to pour. <laughs> I'm going to take this off the Lazy Susan because I got my use out of it and I don't need the Lazy Susan anymore. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. Because I want my runoff to end up on my silicone mat because it will be easier to pull that off for acrylic skins for jewelry. Let's tilt. <laughs> 